I clearly just woke up, so, uh, well, this is what I look like in the morning. This is Scott from Depression to Expression. And this is a mental health channel. Anthony Bourdain, uh, author, top chef, TV host, has died by suicide. And I just did a video on uh, Kate Spade. Saw a tweet from someone, many people, saying, first Avicii, then Kate Spade, and now Anthony Bourdain. Someone has to do something. It's like, this needs to stop. Why don't you fucking do something about it then? All these celebrities on Twitter tweet about it. They're happy, you know, taking action. And taking action to, to these celebrities and to people on Twitter and to news outlets is, okay, well, we're going to write a few characters with our phones. That's the action they take. We're going to share a, a hotline, a suicide hotline for people who are in distress and suicidal. That's the action. That's the fucking action. God damn. This is what action is considered now. Taking out your freaking phone and saying, don't kill yourself. And then forgetting about it. And this will be forgotten pretty soon. Kate Spade will be forgotten. Not forgotten, but how she died and the attention about mental health and mental illness in the U.S. and Canada and throughout the world. This new story isn't going to last and mental health is going to then, uh, you know, be a forgotten topic after a while until another celebrity, until someone else kills themselves. A million people die by suicide each year. Most of these people aren't celebrities and they are forgotten. And I guess we're lucky that a celebrity dies by suicide, so we do get a bit of attention. How sad is that to think about? It's a tragedy. This is gonna blow over, man. It's too common. It's too common, it happens way too often. And action isn't just about tweeting about it. Action doesn't mean rallying around some fucking hashtag and thinking that's enough. That's not enough. We need to fund community institutions. We need to put more into research. It's these social media campaigns and these... It's just ridiculous, man. So I'm so sorry for... Uh, Anthony Bourdain and his family and people who were entertained and loved what he did and looked up to this man. It's a tragedy. And what's more tragic too is that this will blow over in a little while. So uh, to that news, if it blows over, which it will, I guess depression to expression, we're still here. We're still talking about mental health every single day trying to make a difference. So uh, I hope that means something to someone.